Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott and in this series I will be using HSPIP to illustrate some of the power of Hansen solubility parameters. In this clip we will look at how Hansen solubility parameters can be used to understand polymer solvent interactions. When we use polymers we often encounter solubility issues. Solubility of polymers and solvents or the mutual solubility of polymers, or how to find a solvent that would combine two different polymers. This is done very well in HSPIP. If one selects the polymer option, up comes a big database with many different polymers in there. It's too complicated for this video, so I'll load a smaller set. And now we have a small set of polymers. And the first thing we might want to do is say which polymers are similar to a particular polymer of interest to us. Let's say we're interested in PMMA. We double click on it and it automatically sorts the polymers by their closeness in HSP space to the target polymer. Closeness is defined as the distance, the difference between the DDs, DPs, DHs. Actually, the sums of the squares. So the more similar the DDs, DPs, DH, the more close the polymers are, and therefore the more likely they are to be similar. And in this example, this particular polyurethane happens to be closer to PMMA than polyethyl methacrylate. Also, this PVC is close. It depends on your database and your real polymers. And very far away from PMMA, Right at the bottom are polyvinyl alcohol and polyvinyl pyrrolidone. They're very far away because they have high DH values, therefore a large distance from the DH value of 5.1 of PMMA. Also near the bottom are polyethylene and polypropylene. They're far away because they have low DP and DH values, again far away from the DP and DH values of PMMA. So that's one way of doing it. Another thing we might like to do, if I just sort them so I know where I am, is compatibilize two polymers. So let me take polycarbonate and polyvinyl butyrol. Suppose I want to find a solvent which would be best for bringing these together. I click the solvents button and you'll see that something is now happening on the main form. I'll go back to that form. We have this set of solvents, which I've kept from the polylactic acid example, just for familiarity. And we see two spheres in here. It's a bit difficult to know what's going on. So I'll click the WF button. It's off the bottom of the screen, but I've clicked the wireframe option. And these now appear as wireframe drawings. And when I rotate the 3D, you can see a, a golden dot in the middle. That is the HSP of the junction between these two polymers. So an HSP of 18.4, 5.2, 10.0 .0 is the ideal place for a solvent which would be between the center of the polyvinyl butyrol and the center of the polycarbonate. You don't want a solvent which is good for, say, the polycarbonate. Uh, for example, this hexafluoroisopropanol looks very nice for the polycarbonate but it would be quite far from the polyvinyl butyrol. And similarly, isopropyl ether might be okay for the polyvinyl butyrol, but it would be useless for the polycarbonate. You just need something in between, and that's what this junction tells you. Another question you might ask, let's say I have a solvent like xylene, and I want to know which of my polymers is most compatible with it and which is furthest away. Well, I go back to the polymers form and I now click the polymers button and these are now sorted by their distance from the solvent. So in this particular case, polyvinyl acetate and polyethylene are rather close to xylene, whereas of course PVOH and PVP are far away. If I choose a different solvent, if I choose ethanol, go back to that and click polymers, and of course, polyvinyl pyrrolidone, PVP, is closer to the ethanol and things like polypropylene are very far away. 
So by using the principles of like is compatible with the like, by having this database of polymers, and by being able to swap between the different screens to look at spheres and solvents and interactions, we can gain a lot of understanding into what's happening with our polymers and our solvents.